Hallelujah! Welcome again to another glorious edition of Rhapsody of Realities by our man of God, Pastor Chris Oyakilome. Today is March the 27th and our man of God would like to share a message entitled Bearers of the Kingdom and the Glory. Our opening theme verse is from the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 12 and I read that ye would walk worthy of God who had called you unto his kingdom and glory. Hallelujah! From the teachings of Jesus, the kingdom of God has already come. In fact, the Bible says that kingdom is in our hearts, letting you know that it is a spiritual kingdom. Luke chapter 17 verses 20 to 21 says, The kingdom of God cometh not with observation, neither shall they say, Lo here or lo there, for behold, the kingdom of God is within you. So, we are not on our way to the kingdom. No, we carry the kingdom in us. Not only are we in the kingdom, we are also bearers of the kingdom. Now, in that kingdom, there is glory. The two aren't separate. The Bible talks about the glory of the kingdom. We answered the calling for the kingdom. We have also answered the calling for glory. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 14 says, Whereunto he called you by our gospel, to the obtaining of the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. We have obtained glory. Hallelujah. No wonder Jesus said in John chapter 17 verse 22 in his prayer to the Father, And the glory which thou gavest me, I have given them, that they may be one even as we are one. Hallelujah. Paul said in Romans chapter 8 verse 30 that we have been glorified. This glory is an eternal one and it is inherent in our spirit. 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 10 says, But the God of all grace, who had called us unto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, blessed be God. The Bible describes this glory as excellent glory, as read in the book of 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 17. 2 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 10 calls it the glory that excellent. This is the glory of the kingdom to which we belong and we bear. 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 3 says we've been called to glory and excellence. Hallelujah. 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 9, the Amplified Classic Version takes it further and says we are to set forth the wonderful deeds and display the virtues and perfections of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. The reason we can show forth his glory, display his virtues and perfection is because we are bearers of the same. Hallelujah. So give expression to his glory in your world and impact others with the life of the kingdom. Glory be to God. Now, wherever you are, can you raise your hand and take this confession right after me? I am a bearer of the power, glory, and dominion of the kingdom of God. The kingdom expands in me and through me. My world and environment are impacted by the glory of God. I walk in the consciousness and reality of my present hour location in Christ and manifest His righteousness to the glory of His name. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, I invite you to study these following scriptures for further understanding of this topic. From the book of Romans chapter 8 verse 30 and the book of Hebrews chapter 2 verse 10. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Listen to this message once again and understand who you are in Christ. And if you have not received Jesus Christ into your life, Stay tuned till the end of the message and follow me as I take the prayer of salvation and welcome Jesus into your glorious life. Hallelujah! We trust you have been blessed by this devotional. We invite you to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life by praying thus. O Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ. Son of the living God, I believe he died for me and God raised him from the dead. I believe he is alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ 
is the Lord of my life from this day. Through Him and in His name, I have eternal life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. Hallelujah. Congratulations. You are now a child of God. To receive more information on how you can grow as a Christian, please get in touch with us by emailing us at tni.msia at gmail.com. That's tni.msia at gmail.com. We look forward to hearing your testimony. You are blessed.